Alright, so real quick video on how not to die as a skulk. Um, if you're running along like this, you're only going at 7 speed. And uh, you've probably already noticed this, but if you run at marines, uh, they'll eat you for breakfast. So what you want to do is learn the wall jump mechanic. How this works is you've got to jump off vertical surfaces, um, like the side of this prop, the wall, ceiling. Uh, you can even do it off hives, command stations, armories, and so forth. What you need to do is you press spacebar and you jump and instantly go to 9.5 speed, which is higher than 7 speed, of course. So it kind of looks like this. Uh, what also happens is your downward momentum gets converted into forward momentum. Um, so you, what you do is when you wall jump, uh, you can jump again off the floor and your speed will be preserved somewhat. Kind of like this for a few jumps. Uh, the other thing wall jump gives you is the ability to move in the air. Um, you've probably already seen this in the last sculpt tutorial video I did, but uh, please ignore most of what I said in that because the wall jump mechanic has changed quite a bit. Um, what happens is when you jump off a wall, timing doesn't matter, but uh, the direction you look in is the direction you're going to go. So I'm going to look in this direction and I'm going to press jump and go in this direction. What this means is you can um, uh, have a lot of freedom of air movement and as a general rule, the longer you stay in the air, the longer you're going to survive. So you can do crazy stuff like this. So just flick and jump. So just jump as soon as you touch a wall. There's no timing, so don't worry about stuffing up. When it comes to traveling with wall jump, you can put the same concept into application. So let's just jump onto the wall. You jump looking down and jump as soon as you touch the ground to preserve your speed. And that's it. Uh, in motion, it's going to kind of look like this. Just really basic stuff. Uh, the other thing to note is uh, when you jump into the wall, your previous momentum is going to be preserved. So if you have leap, what you want to do is always leap into walls and jump off. You don't want to you don't want to leap onto the floor like that. See how quickly the speed diminished. Um, you want to leap onto the walls like that, and it will preserve your speed. Also, if you get dizzy from flicking your mouse like that, you can uh, use your strafe button. So, Sam on the wall here, I can jump and press my right button, and it will go to my right. Ooh, okay, like this. So, there's not you don't need to move your mouse as much. Yeah. Alright, so I've switched tram to do the sneaky part and to highlight the importance of vents. Um, here is a really, really important one right between North Tunnels and Mezzanine. Uh, right here I can hear marine footsteps all the way from warehouse to elevator transfer. You kind of act like a midfielder, so I'm kind of denying access to platform, server and mezzanine um, and kind of intercepting all the marine movements into this kind of area. Uh, uh, what you also want to do is have your minimap open as much as possible so you know where the marines are pushing, you know where your teammates are, and you can use this information to coordinate attacks and ambush them in places they don't expect. When you're sneaking up with marines, be aware of your footstep noises. I'm making footstep noises right now. Uh, these noises go through walls and they're actually amplified for marines. So when you're trying to sneak, press shift and you'll go a lot slower but you won't make any noises and they won't be able to hear you.